Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful pendant only out of seed beads and a pearl. It's really easy to make and when I show you how I'm making it, I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make it by yourself. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. You could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, mugs, pillows, hoodies, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and uh, they uh, help you express better your personality or, and they are a great present for your bidding friends or for yourself. You could find links down there in description and here at the icon and by buying stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission. And now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads and I'm using 8 millimeter pearl and you could use 6 millimeter but if you use 6 millimeter it, it will fit inside the hole of your pendant and uh, if you use 8 millimeter it will pop up and I like the effect of popping up and here I'm using a chain, use any chain you like and you could use a bail but here because I don't have a black bail I'm using this ring instead of a bail and uh, I'm using Nemo beading thread that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. For this one, maybe it's better to use monofilament, but now I will make it with this thread because it's colorful and in this way you will see better where my thread goes. And I'm using size 10 beading needle and I will put about, about an arm span of thread on my needle and I will start. Okay guys, and now I will start by picking up 18 beads. 9 black and 9 red, okay? And I will alternate them. Okay, and now I have 18 beads, 9 red and 9 black, and I'm going to slide them down. Okay, now I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Now this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of beads here and what I'm going to do now is go through some beads in this direction. pull once again and I'm going to start my next row. Okay, in my next row I will put red beads. Okay, I'm taking two red beads and I'm going back in circle through this red one here. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going through the next black one and through the red one. And I'm taking two red beads and I'm going back through the red and through the following two beads. Do this in one movement if you can. Okay. Then again two. And go here like that through the following. Okay, then again two, and go like that, okay, pull your work, don't make it feel loose. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continue this way, now I'm adding the last two beads from this row. Okay. 
And what I want to do is exit in my next row. Okay. And here in my next row, I will continue with herringbone stitch. Okay, I'm taking two beads going down like this through the other one of the two beads that I added in my previous row, fixing a little bit, pulling to the center, and going out of my next C bead from the center out. And I need two more C beads go here inside fix this pull to the center and go out through this bead here then take two more go here Fix it by pulling to the center and going out. I will show you one more time. Two seed beads go to the center of your work. And outside. Okay, and I will continue doing this until I reach here, and then I'll tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And I will pull to the center. <coughs> and now, what I need to do is go here through these two seed beads in my next element. Okay, like that and I will take two again and I will go down here again pull to the center and fix and I will take one black bead and I'm going through my next herringbone element and I'm taking two beads again, going to the center, fixing one black bead, and to the outside, and I'm taking two beads go here one black and out here two beads going to the center, fixing one black, go out and I'm going to continue this until I reach up to here and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and now here I'm added my last black bead If it was too um, fast for you, don't forget that you could pause and rewind everything, okay? And I will continue the same way. I'm taking two seed beads. And I'm taking two more black beads, okay? And I will go here. Okay. 
then again two more go through here fix them a little bit by pulling to the center take two and go through the following two more go here two black beads okay and two red and continue this until the end of this row and pause this video and when you're ready play it again and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and here I'm adding the last two beads from this row I hope you have catch up up to here if you still haven't paused this video and catch up okay now what I want to do is take one seed bead and go here like that then what I want to do is go back through this red one in this direction and I will take five red beads okay I have my five and I'm going to the center now you see what I have I have this beautiful flower here then I'm going through these two seed beads going in the first thread taking one black going to the center of your work and pulling then take five red beads Okay, five, go here, like that, and continue the same process. Go in your next herringbone, go out here, make the same flower and continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and I'm finishing my last flower okay gonna fix it and now what I want to do is add my pearl in the center of my work okay Okay, I'm taking my pearl, I'm going out in the center and I want to go through the opposite bead here and the opposite bead is this one, I guess. Okay, so when I pull I have this. You could go one more time to fix it better.
then what I want to do is exit again through one of my flowers, okay? So, I will go here in this direction. And I want to exit here out of my top bead. And now what I want to take are five more seed beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going back in circle through this top bead. Okay. And now I have this circle of beads. And I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, and now what I want to do is make some knots and cut my thread. So I'm going through some beads here in this direction. Okay, I'm going, let's say, here between those two black beads or wherever you like. And I will make a loop go once and go second time through the loop I've made and then I make sure I am between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm going to pull then I will exit through my next seed beads and what I want to do here is cut my thread Okay, and my pendant is ready. Now guys, what I want to do is put my pendant on my chain. That is why I'm opening up my jump ring and you could do this with pair of pliers, but now I'm doing it with one pliers. Okay, and I will close this. And now guys, my pendant is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more beautiful videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also check my new merch store where you could find mugs, pillows, hoodies, t-shirts, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. They are a great present for your bidding friends or they could help you express yourself better and when you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.